Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today is the 26th of November, it's a Tuesday, it's 2019 and I wanted to talk to you about the energy forecast for this period as well as specifically for the new moon in Sagittarius today. So in the last weeks you might have been surrounded by an energy that has a lot to do with transformation that's internally as well as outside of you. You might have been questioning basics. You might have been going back to the foundation, asking yourself, is it okay to be here? You may be dabbling with existential questions, but it may also be quite literal questions like, should I live here? Is this the right place for me to live in? Is this the correct neighborhood? Is this the right country? Um, is what I'm doing in terms of my work the right type of work to be doing? And the this kind of questions might have been coming up for you during this time and it might have left you feeling really alone or really um, unheard or unseen, unrecognized in the process. There may have been other questions or other queries or other unsettling news or information that have, might, might have come to you in the last few weeks or perhaps in the last week so to say which has led you to feeling this way or led you led you to questioning yourself on some level. So that is the kind of energy that we'll be dealing with at this moment. But this is part of a larger endeavor of energy and transformation that's been going on for quite a while right now. The reason that we're experiencing this right now is because we're coming to a better understanding of who we are. And we may be able to understand ourselves and see ourselves from a bird's eye perspective, understand our motivations better, understand our role better, understand how we influence our own lives by the choices that we make and the decisions that we make, as well as the thoughts that we have or the beliefs that we have. So this is a time in which we are heading over, we are building up to head into next year. And next year, we're going to have a lot of this type of energy that's coming to the fore, where you'll have to look at yourself in a very raw way and be able to accept yourself with all your, what you may deem to be flaws oh, and and all the, po the positive aspects about you. So you'll be able to have a very clear vision of yourself. And I feel that that will be the case uh, around from about January till about August next year, you'll be grappling with those kind of issues. But I'll talk about that a little bit later in the middle of December as we head into the, uh, next year, as we head into 2020, I will do an uh, energy forecast just on the year's energy as well as at a later point, what we can expect in January and February. In the meantime, what you need to know is that this feeling of aloneness that you feel or the feeling that you can't quite express yourself or that you aren't really being heard in the, if you are expressing yourself, people may be misunderstanding you. It doesn't have anything to do with the energy, with the astrological aspects, I don't think. The way I see it is that it's an overriding wave, like a tidal wave of information and energy that we are all experiencing right now. It's calling you to actually look forth at who you are and what you're doing and who you need to be with as a result of who you've become. So you might have gone through some huge changes in the last years. Perhaps you've gone through a breakup or a divorce, or perhaps you've gone through some difficult health issues, or you might be have you might have moved countries or a job or you might have had some big change in your life that has resulted in you being a very different person than you were two or three years ago or four or five years ago. You might have given up your job. You might have done something that's quite extraordinary and quite different or not what was expected from you. Okay. And so in doing so, what you've done is you've thrown yourself outside of your comfort zone. And this has left you feeling alone. So what, what this energy is actually asking you for right now is to go ahead and find those people who you resonate with. And don't be afraid if you're alone. And don't be afraid if you are not finding these people. These people are out there and they exist. And it's only when you are ready and you're willing to have them in your life that you will be able to encounter them. On that note, if there are people that you have in your life who are drawing on your energy, perhaps uh, some kind of stalking. It may not be that they're actually stalking you, but they may be infatuated with you and they are they they focus a lot of energy on you. They think it's a good thing. They're sending you energy. They are loving you. But in fact, these kinds of energies may be drawing on you 
and your resources and your energetic resources at this moment. So be careful of that. This is not to say that this will happen in every encounter like that, but it is bound to happen in some of them because we are not always guarded and we're not always well looked after and protected. So if you do have somebody in your life who's infatuated with you, who you are not able to return um, their affections, you are like you are welcome to say to them, I ask you to stop thinking about me and I ask you to move on in your life. Because in some of these instances where it will be harmful for you, these people are using you as a crutch to come to you in their own life because they're lacking something in their own life and they need to somehow fill that gap, okay? And this is drawing in you and your energy. So that might be the kind of energies that you are dealing with right now. And I'm not saying that every single one of you who's listening to this right now is experiencing that, but that is something that you need to be aware of in this, in this time. So this transformation is going to continue. And as long as it continues, you will have a, a varied understanding of who you are. And you become, you'll become clearer and clearer as to what your life purpose is, as to who you are, and how you need to conduct yourself in this time and in this world. And in doing so, you will be able to fulfill your desires and your ambitions. And your desires and ambitions will actually change during this time to be able to accommodate who you are and who you are becoming. So this is all part of an exciting um, transformation process endowed onto us by the energy that exists that's kind of going over the planet right now and that will continue to exist for a few more years, for several more years, and it will change in its capacity in the last year as well as this year and all through next year, we've been going through one kind of phase, so to say, of this energy. And by the end of next year, we would have come to the end of that phase. And once we've come to the end of that phase, we will need to graduate to the next phase. And I hope that you are able to ride this energy, serve this energy and make the most of it and enjoy this process of transformation in whichever way it comes to you at this moment. All right. So I'm wishing you all the best once again and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.